All right, so you just uh, recently finished up your North American tour performing with Raekwon on the Unexpected Victory Tour. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit, a bit about that experience and uh, working with a legendary member of the Wu-Tang Clan? Uh, I mean, for me, the tour, that was like, it was one of a kind for me. That was my first time getting on the road, you know what I mean? Getting to do that many dates. I did 45, like almost 50 dates, you know what I mean, going across Canada and the U.S. So it was it was special for me just to be on the bus, you know what I mean, be on the road, we're cracking jokes, yeah. you know what I mean, smoking blunts. Getting to do that with Ray is like, it's one of, one of a kind. You know what I mean? Like, no, not a lot of people get to do something like that. So it's nothing special for me. Um, do you feel an increased amount of pressure being the first signee of Ice, Ice H2 or Ice H2O and having to set the stage for some other artists? Um, not so much an increased amount of pressure. Like, for me, I just really want to like live up to to a certain standard. You know what I mean? Like. Watching Ray do it, it's like he sets the bar at a certain level, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm just a new guy coming in, just, you know what I mean, learning to bust my gun the right way. So it's like, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to learn from him and just, and just build my own legacy, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, like, I'm representing the whole country, so it's like, it's not, it's not the same. Like, I, I got a whole another set of responsibility, you know what I mean, that I'm trying to carry out. So I'm just trying to, you know, set my mark and, and do it, do it the best way I know how right now. Right? All right. Yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, Toronto. Uh, what part do you think the fans from Toronto have had in your success? And uh, is there anyone in particular you'd like to speak of from Toronto that's uh, had a role in that? Oh, man, Toronto? Toronto's, you know, it's, it's one of a kind of place. Like, it's the best breeding ground for an MC. You know what I mean? Because, like, the amount of hate and, 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 and the amount of... The hate to love ratio is crazy over here. You know what I mean? And it's like if you can earn people's respect over here, then they really, they really let you know. You know what I mean? Like tonight was kind of a testament to that. I didn't know what the turnout was gonna be like. You know what I mean? We made it a free event. I just wanted to see if people were gonna come out and give back. And I was like, we just did a free show, and the city came out to show love. You know what I mean? They came out to support. So I just, I love the city. Like the city's all, they've always shown me, shown me love out the gate. You know what I mean, I came out with Ray and Ghost at Dundas Square. It was like, it's always been love in Toronto for me. Out the battle scene, it's always been love. You know what I mean? So I mean, I'm one of the lucky few. <laughs> Uh, Alright, uh, No Hands Out, can you tell us a little bit about the name choice? Yeah, um, No Handouts, um, for me it was like, it was about, it was about my energy around the project, you know what I mean, like, we didn't, no one gave us anything, you know, I started recording the project, most of it was done before I even linked up with Ray, I kind of brought it to him, you know what I mean, so, um, just my mindset into it was that we had never been given anything, and I've been working and doing mixes for the last, like, four or five years, it was like, it's just been a grind, you know what I mean, just that progression, so that's really what it was about, it was about that progression and me just getting to the point where I'm at now, right now. Absolutely. Um, so our viewers, our viewers at, the, at the Goodie Bag are always looking to have a bit of a deeper look into the artists that we're, we're showcasing. Mm. Could you uh, maybe tell us about some of your favorite brands that like to rock on and off stage? Shit, my favorite brands. You know, everyone likes some high end joints, but I like um, I like what Obey's doing. I like some of that dope stuff. You know what I mean? Like it's a couple cool street brands. Like some of my homies. Me. For the most part, I just I show a lot of people love. Like tonight, my sponsor is Nike Canada. Everybody knows they're the big beast, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a Jordans guy. I'm an Air Force One guy. Like that's that's the hardest for you. Aren't we all in? Eh? Yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, so, uh, are there any artists that you're particularly looking forward to working with in the future? Um, in the future, I really want to work with. Uh, one of the good homies, me and him have been talking about it. I got the joint from finally. Me and Action Bronson, me and him are going to do something else. Let's um, reap the villain. You know what I mean? Uh, some, a lot of like up and coming guys that like, it, it's ironic because it's like we're in a time where certain legends and certain like artists that are established are starting to co-sign some of the new generation. You know what I mean? So I'm just kind of looking forward to working with some of that new generation. I want to do something, something new with Freddie Gibbs. You know what I mean? And like, you know, eventually work up to some of the bigger dudes. Them and, and honestly, my wish list. Ghostface Nas, you know what I mean? Like that's my that's my wish list. So. Yo, what up? It's your boy JDR. Shout out to the Goodie Bag. Ice H2O representing Black Market representing. We're here live. No hand on some plug. I'm in the bow tie. No suit, just feeling good. You know how it goes down. Black Market, there. Holla at your boy. Shit.